All right, we are back again for another camp showcase. Mr. Pilica, he has an awesome camp that he wanted to show. Let's go take a look at this bad boy. This thing's awesome. He always does really good camp builds. Knock, knock. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello, my friend. Hi. Welcome. I'm surprised you have clothes on. Yeah, I just killed some uh, crickets uh, around my camp. Welcome. Do you want to give us a grand tour here? Yeah. So, uh, over here you have uh, Hello. the mighty Zorbo with all of the slaves. Hello, Zorbo. Uh, he has, you, you have, uh, he has an interesting group of followers. Uh, slaves? More slaves? Everywhere slaves? Are you a slave? Well, sometimes. Okay, perfect. So, uh... And I, I just want to draw attention to this wall back here. If you look at how many scoreboards he has. <laughs> I still need to update, but I have no budget left. Thank you, Bethesda. Look at all the scoreboards he has. <laughs> There's more over here. This is an amazing camp, though. And is it I, the toilet? Yeah. I have used the shower before, but you got to be careful because sometimes people will watch you. Aww. See? He was trying to. Got an awesome crafting area. Check out downstairs. Got all his magazines, some nice racks. And this is where my toilet water goes to, mate. Well, it makes sense that you'd be swimming in it. But that you did the guy, you know. To check this out, he did a really awesome job with uh, getting the level of his floors. That way, he could utilize the existing water. Some sitting area. I found some recipes at a place called Toxic Larry's Meat and Go. Is there anything in here that you did some weird merges? Um. Yes, this one. Television. Ah, yeah, your TV. So the TV is connected with the small table under it. Don't ask me why, but it just works. Uh, this is an awesome Yeah, camp. it's not... It's it's not very big, but it's uh, 
cozy and I feel home when I come here. Let's check out the outside. Over here he's got one of his generators. Now this was a really good location choice. He's got another generator over here. And then there's the lower level that's overlooking this lake area or the river. Yeah, it really is an awesome camp, man. Have I already told you that you are awesome, my friend? Oh, well, like, you know, you, you lie to me all the time, though. Yeah, but I know you like uh, those words. No. And thank you for showcasing my camp, mate. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's not a problem. It's an awesome build. I think my favorite part, though, is that lower level. It just, uh, you know, how you how you put the foundations in and everything. It just looks really, really fluid. Everything went to it went together really, really well. Yeah, that but uh, if you take a lot of hours in camps. You also have camps that you put uh, so many hours in, mate. Eventually, you get uh, at a certain point that you like it. How I started this camp was the bottom first, and then I built upwards. Yeah, and you know, <laughs> for, for people who are just getting into camp building, saying that, well, you start from the bottom and work your way up, it kind of sounds like it makes sense, but that's really not how it happens a lot of times. A lot of times you'll start building up on top of the edge of a cliff or something, and then you have to work your way down. No, very cool, man. An another fine job. Uh, as always, we we thank you for letting us in. Always welcome. I always forget to use the doorbell, so you know a lot of times you don't let me in. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Very cool. Hey man, shut that door. Were you raised in a barn? I see nothing. Alright, well, until next time. Thank you guys. We appreciate it. And uh, hopefully this inspires you to go build something cool too. Until then, you have yourself a great day and be safe.